President Trump is having maybe the worst week of his presidency so far, and that's saying something. And it's all because of a book that came out today called Fire and Fury. It is a devastating portrait of the Trump family, as told by people who work with and for him. A reporter named Michael Wolff got some great stuff out of Steve Bannon, who at one time was one of Trump's closest advisors. He's not anymore. But Wolf spent a lot of time in the White House. Trump is even taking issue with that assertion. He lashed out at the book, its author, and Steve Bannon on Twitter last night. He wrote, I authorized zero access to White House. Actually turned him down many times for author of phony book. I never spoke to him for a book full of lies, misrepresentations, and sources that don't exist. Look at this guy's past and watch what happens to him and sloppy Steve. <laughs> now, <laughs> sloppy Steve is Trump's new nickname for Steve Bannon. And I have to admit, it's a good one. It's <laughs> fact. Of all the nicknames Trump has given people. I don't know what to say. Sloppy Steve fits. It's, so he's using it now. Uh, he used it twice in two days. This morning, he tweeted, the Mercer family recently dumped the leaker known as Sloppy Steve Bannon. Smart. The leaker known as Sloppy Steve. I like when he comes up with a nickname and then acts like it was a thing. He wasn't known as Sloppy Steve Bannon. <laughs> You named him that yesterday. <laughs> anyway, the author of the book, Michael Wolf, was on the Today Show this morning. He thanked the president for calling so much attention to his book by trying to stop it from being published and added more fuel to the fire and fury by saying everyone he spoke to while writing this book compared the president to a child. They said he has the temperament of a child, the vocabulary of a child, and also questioned his intellectual capacity. One of the overarching themes is that According to your reporting, everyone around the president, senior advisors, family members, every single one of them, questions his intelligence and fitness for office. Let me, let me put a put a, a marker in the in the sand here. One hundred percent of the people around him. <laughs> so that's like almost all of them, right? It's... I always wondered what happened to the Six Flags guy, and now I know he was in the White House writing a book about <laughs> why they let Michael Wolff in the White House. When you think about it, that might be the craziest part of this book. They just let the guy come in and hang out at meetings? I, who's that? Oh, that's Mike. He's the guy who tore Rupert Murdoch a new one back in 2008, wrote a book about him, really killed him. Oh, great, let's see if he wants to come hang out in the situation room. <laughs> The book is already number one. At a bookstore in Washington, D.C., people were lined up at midnight last night waiting for it, like it was a new Harry Potter book or something. <laughs> it's a big hit. It will probably be the fastest selling book of the year. And I tell you, I'm looking forward to a few weeks from now when Trump starts taking credit for how great sales of the book were. <laughs> people love my book. It's fantastic. You know, this is something that. The president is still trying to get that wall of his built. I almost forgot about that. That was like 187 dumb, dumb ideas ago. But <laughs> Trump is asking Congress to put up $18 billion for this wall he said Mexico was going to pay for. Meanwhile, millions of children are about to lose their health insurance because Congress still hasn't funded the CHIP program. I guess the wall is so we don't try to escape to Mexico to find a doctor for our kids. <laughs> but can't we just, I don't know, can't we just tell him it's built, Photoshop something? Show it to him. He'll never know. <laughs> Great wall, Mr. President. You really did it. Is it bigger than China's wall? Yep, it is. <laughs> bigger than China. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.